what would that movie look like made today? I don't know. Because you wouldn't be able to flip up skirts, Bruce. Mr. Bruce. Bruce Almighty. When was the last time you saw Bruce Almighty? Probably seven years ago. <laughs> Did you like... Uh, um, what was the second one called? Evan. Evan Almighty? As a kid, I did. When I got older and rewatched it, I understood. It, the, I didn't like it as much as Bruce. But yeah. Jim Carrey. Well, yeah. Well, he, it's phenomenal. He plays such an insane person. He He's just crazy. He's crazy. And I like the Carrey. idea of man being corrupted by godly powers in, like, modern New York. Yes. That was fun. Not old school New York. And Evan Almighty, it was just... It was strange. Like, how did he... Did he think he was, like, anointed when he started growing the beard and not being... Did God visit him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he talks to Morgan Freeman. Does he? He's told about the the flood or something. I only, I've only seen arc. that one, like, once. I've yeah. seen Bruce Almighty a hundred times. Because he turns into, like, a social pariah. Because he's like, I have to build this ark. And then there's news channels oh, yeah, he... bashing. It, it went weird. And his wife didn't trust him. And she's scared of him. I didn't like that. Well, it'd aspect. be a little weird if you're... it would be. I just I'm uncomfortable watching <laughs> his marriage fall apart for religion. Hello, weirdos, and welcome back to a special 50th anniversary episode. 50th. Technically, right. Well, it's the 50th episode. It's the 50th. that we've recorded and it, that I've recorded. It's almost like we're celebrating an anniversary, you know? Yeah, <laughs> of our. 50th episode. It's our 50th anniversary, guys. It's not even our one year anniversary. No. But it's our 50th. It's our 50th episode. Blank anniversary. Yes. And, and we're this is Tangents, Tangents of, of Horror. Horror. Wow. Did you hear about po- this? We're a podcast, and I'm Brandon. And I'm Steven. And we're the kind of podcast that likes to talk about spooky movies, a little bit of fantasy movies, and sometimes a little bit, little bit, little bit of sci fi. Some scares, some sci fi, and some spook. No, because there's no fantasy in there. Some scares, sci-fi, and wow, and serendipity. What what does that mean? It's just a name. I, no, it's 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 something positive. Oh, so is it like a serendipitous is an adjective, and serendipity is the noun or something. So it's like, <laughs> you, okay. So, 50, wow. 50, a very serendipitous occasion for us. Very stupendous. And for you (laughs) listeners out there. All of you. We've heard you, and you've shouted at us. Yeah, keep it down. Through the void. Calm yourselves. And we have received loud and clear your message. And by messages, we mean your questions. Your questions. Because we're going to do a QA. and a We're flipping it around. We're flipping it around, guys, and now... We are the viewers, and you are the broadcasters. You're the reviewers. We're the... We're not reviewing this time. We're the listeners. We're the movie. Where are we? (laughs) (laughs) You have to tell me where we are. We are on Twitter right now. We are looking up the questions. We're on X, and you see your cues. No. And we have A's. Wow, okay. All right. I'll let that one slide. X, Q, and A. Is that something? It is now. Okay. XQNA. That's what we're doing. We're doing an XQNA. I think they got it. Hey. Thanks, Stephen. Be afraid ho- horror. Be afraid horror. Reached out to us and they asked what? Why are you so awesome and what got you into horror? I'm assuming that's... Us as a collective because we're tangents of horror. <laughs> no, I think that's me. <laughs> <laughs> they know us as a collective, Brandon. They think that the, we're right. one shared consciousness. All right, you got me there. You got me there. We are a hive mind of two. That's scary. And we have no queen. <sighs> Just the queen that is. Another one bites the dust. Oh, they're Another good. One. They're, they're the best hey, queen. Hey. They're the best queen. Yeah. See Bohemian Rhapsody. That was, yeah. that was a great movie. Oh, you said. You've said that. And I believe you. Not on you. the show. Not on the show, guys. Everyone see it. But he showed it this recently. Why are we so awesome and what got us into horror? Why are we so awesome? Did you want to take that one? I wanted to disregard it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll just say thank you. Because I disagree with the premise. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get giddy now. <laughs> it's pretty crazy case. <laughs> don't, get, don't, don't hide your emotion that, that bad. Come All on. All right, Stephen. What got you... I'm awesome Into because horror. I'm I've got a kick ass <laughs> attitude and a and a no bullshit tone of voice. Yeah. What got me into horror? 
um, <laughs> got me into horror. How do you how do you surmount? How, what like what's your first? No, time what got you horror? into it? What what made you realize that you enjoyed it? I've never enjoyed horror. It scares me, and I don't like <laughs> being scared. <laughs> <laughs> You're not scared. I'm scared every time, and I'm comfortable, and I'm like, I don't want these people to die. I've learned so much about them. I've never enjoyed it. <laughs> um, but I keep watching because I'm a twisted freak. <laughs> I guess I'm just making them I get, uh, at this point. I'm a twisted freak. That and too. I keep doing what I don't like Weirdo. feeling. Well, at one point you told me, too, you never watched as many horror movies because you figured the plot was all the same it was just more about the kills and stuff and you never realized that there was a plot a good plot to be more told. specifically slashers mm. simpsons just gave me the idea that 80s horror slashers were all low budget and sucked and paper thin i mean there is a big percentage that is yeah, yeah. And but we like those ones too <laughs> because i i watched horror in my own time when it was like psychological horror stuff mm -hmm. and like un i never watched saw uh, Final Destination, where it seemed to be gore focused, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, the the plot line's not going to be that great because it's just focusing on the shock and horror. Yeah. So I always avoided the genre, and so it wasn't until the start of this podcast where I started diving into that side. Because we made them. <laughs> now you're speaking like a collective, and I don't like that. All right. <laughs> what got me into horror was family. Uh, cousins lived, on one side. Oh. oh no, cousins on one side watched horror movies. Uncles on the other watched horror movies. Um, I remember my cousin always renting a movie if it was horror, and then not making me watch it, but I would be there, and he wouldn't stop me. So I would end up seeing it. How old um, were you at this point? It probably started around five or six. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I would say six, because wow. I won't get into detail, Whoa. but that's when those movies came out, and I'm pretty sure they were relatively new, so if it was if it was older than that, maybe seven, eight, but I'm pretty sure okay. it was five or six. Um, yeah. Terrifying. So pretty much just influenced by family members. And you're a sick, twisted freak, and you kept watching them. Well, that, Because it, it scared you. Oh, it scared the... I was such a bitch <laughs> up until you I was like are. 20. No, no, no. No, no, that no they stop. don't scare me anymore. No, no, no. Just you're. Well, yeah. You're um, the B word. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> Go get get out. Um, no, but even video stores growing up, the covers of those movies oh, yeah. always stuck out more than anything yeah. else. Um, Good art. Yeah. Um, Mad Dill thirteen. Uh, what got you into horror? We already got that. We already what's got that Mad Dill. What's <laughs> Why are you being mean? What's your favorite Vincent Price movie? Oh my god, Vincent! Now when I think Vincent Price, I don't even know what I, Vincent Price movies I've I go seen. back to all of his classics: fucking Edward Scissorhands, House on Haunted Hill, House of Wax. You know this guy's repertoire. Um, come on, The Great Mouse, The Great Mouse Detective. detective? Come on, oh man, it's just all off the top of my head. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. Um, I'm gonna, I might get hate for this. It's bad. But I actually grew up watching Edward Scissorhands more than anything else. Yeah. And I even, see, even though his part's really small in that, my, my family, I always too. loved his part in it. They yeah. always had Edward Scissorhand on. I think it's one of my mom's favorite movies. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen a lot of his films, so I, I would probably have to go with The Fly. I saw that a long time ago, but other than that, I don't know which ones I've seen. I haven't seen. seen one of his movies. Looking through... Well, yeah. He, yeah, Ooh. I wouldn't expect you'd seen any old... I might have seen The Ten Commandments, the 1956 film, The Ten Commandments. <laughs> that was like a double VHS. That was a long movie. Yeah. It was like... um, It was an epic. What was the one where, like, they say horses died, but they didn't actually die in the in the making of this movie that's like three hours long? Tim, Ted, Ben-Hur. Oh. You know this? No. No. Okay. Good one. Yeah, Ben Hur was an epic. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands for me. <laughs> What's the funniest horror movie you've seen? Um, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's it's my favorite movie, and it's all because of Mr. Bruce. What? And it's all because of Mr. Bruce. That's Evil Dead. Then that's my answer. 
That's your answer. You, okay, that's my you're answer. going with Evil Dead. That's I'm going answer. with Shaun of the Dead, which was... Sh- is that a horror movie? Yeah, it is. It's a horror and comedy. it's so funny. And it's so good. Yeah. It's just any time someone improvs. When you have... Oh, yeah. When you have that director, uh, character, director, what, the, what are they called? Actors. <laughs> there you go. When you, they have he a relationship there. and they kiss in the green room. And then they just like let their heart bleed onto the screen. It's great stuff. Those are the funniest. That's art. That's art, guys. That is the definition of art. When you bleed passion out into the screen. <laughs> yeah. Bloody murder. <laughs> I mean, Shaun of the Dead, it's just, it's such a perfect movie. With, what had, can... Did you ever play horror video games? Yeah, I still do. Did the day by day. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, did anybody need the idea to know, though? <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I heard about that. Texas Chainsaw still. Did you ever get into Phasmophobia? Phasmophobia? Yeah. Is that on PlayStation? Mm-hmm. When it was big, I don't think it was. So, and no, I have People not. are playing it now. People we know are playing it now. Oh. Yeah. Well, I might have to check it's it on out. on VR, too. I've played most of the Resident Evils. Oh. I grew up on Doom. Oh, yeah. That was the first like video game other than... Did you than... have an NES? Yes, Were you playing I was like... going to say, other than NES, that was the first computer game yeah. I played when yeah. I was six, oh, fuck that's yeah. when it came out. Oh, that's great. No, eight. Yeah. When I was eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I th- oh, did it come out in 94 or 96? I Doom? might. Yeah, I'm saying Doom 94. Was before that. No. Why am I, I, why am I believe that? Mm. Oh, I put an extra O. In... Did Wolfenstein come first? That was first, yeah. That was oh, like right okay. before. Um, so 1996 comics, comics. 1996 adaptation. What? 1993? Did I see games? Oh, 93. 93. Wow. So yeah, I was probably like six. Yeah, cool. With all those floppy discs. Those were great games. Those were crazy. And what was the one after that? Quake. Quake was big. Yes. Yeah. And then there's a couple different Dooms, and then yeah. Yeah, Quake got big because that went on. There yeah. was online Quake and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. And then Duke Nukem 3D, which was oh. kind of like a spoof on them, which is one Great. of my favorites. You Wasn't see? good on N64. It Both was better in the on the horror and in the horror. You like the parody of the yeah of the scary movie, like Shaun of the Dead and scary it's a movie zombie parody. <laughs> we grew up with that shit. All the scary Scream. movies. That scary movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, damn it, Marianne. Whoa. Also known as Scream Queen 514. Why'd you, why'd you damn her? That's what her name is on the Twitter. She's damned herself? Yeah. Damn aye, it. Aye, aye. Janet, what made Steven decide to start getting into horror movies? Well, we already got into that. I made I him. signed a contract with my blood yeah. that I cannot break. What are your favorite genres? Just, oh, I like how open ended this is because I might not even say movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down. One of my favorite genres in life. Okay, just yeah, how about we do favorite genres like top three in horror, and then tell us your favorite genre. Z. With okay, it's that's plural, that so you is need two. That is kind of open ended though, because is it <laughs> is it genres within the horror franchise or genres of movies as a whole? I think of movies as fair. Why don't we just do both? I mean, my three genres are the ones we review: horror, sci fi, and fantasy. And I mean action too, but action usually is is within them. Within them, yeah. You like when action is a secondary character to the genre, for the most part. Do unless like it's a, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. I love like. And honestly, those yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I well, I mean, of most of those are kind of in the fantasy realm too, because yeah. even when you're like a James Bond character, isn't that technically spy? Yeah, is spy fantasy? Oh yeah, high well, spy. But yeah, those are my three for yeah. the most part with action in there as and well. And movies? Movies? Oh, I guess. That's a different question, Stephen. Movie genres. Yeah, You those. did your horror genres. No, sci-fi oh. and fantasy. But it's like sci-fi horror. <laughs> Not always. Okay. It can be just... So Star Wars, you're big on the wars. Big on Star Wars. You're big on the Trek. I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of Trek, but I grew up with like uh, the next generation on Stargate, a lot. Stargate. Never watched Stargate. Doctor Who. No, that's more fantasy sci-fi as well. That's what I mean. Like, they're always kind of... I don't believe you in fantasy. There's no way you like fantasy. What do you mean? Name. Uh, That isn't sci-fi. Because this is a a heated argument. So when I say fantasy, I incorporate, like, medieval time stuff, too. How dare you say fantasy when it comes to... I love the Lord of the Rings movies. I'd say medieval is more... Lord of the Rings. Oh, you're right. Um, Oh, like D&D. 
Uh, well, yeah. What do you what yeah. what do you see as fantasy? That is pretty fantasy. That's like, like dragons. Then that's more high unicorns. Fantasy. That's high fantasy, I would call. Okay, so what's fantasy, fantasy is Lord of the Rings, I think, is safe. Is there magic, though? Yeah, there's magic. Magic is usually the separator for me. Okay, so magic has to be involved. Magic is high fantasy. Or can be involved. And I think anything devoid of, like, a Terminator. Okay, so, because one movie I was going to say, because one of my favorite movies growing up was Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Mm. And I was going to say, mm, because that's more just medieval, but there yeah. is an evil witch in it. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. So. Whether or not the spells she's casting are actually happening and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is like a voodoo thing. That's the fairy involved. No, oh. that's Peter Pan. Uh, same thing. Which is also I love Hook. You love Hook, the movie uh, Hook from the nineties. No. I had the toys and the sword. Were you pirates over ninjas? Oh, that's hard because I also grew up with three the three ninjas, Donatello and, and Ninja Turtles. <laughs> but Who no, the three th- ninjas. Oh, Rocky, Colton, Tum Tum. Oh, that went over my... I've never heard that oh, uttered. Oh, dude, we have to watch that. What in the world? Three yeah. ninjas. It's literally three kids whose grandpa is a like samurai master oh, karate dude and has been training them. Okay, so like a Master Miyagi situation. Yeah. And at one point... Yeah, it's like the uh, the karate kid yeah. times three. Oh, cool. And he gets kidnapped. Oh, they have to save him. No, 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 sorry. Um kidnappers like a big corporation that their dad works for or something oh. hire these three like surfer dude n- yeah. like doofuses yeah. to kidnap them when they're being the babysat kids. one night yet oh shit so the first like three quarters of the movie is like home alone because they're like yeah. kicking these guys asses oh, and shit. setting traps and then the last part is on a boat where they're oh my surrounded God. by ninjas and their grandpa saves them even though they're, oh, they're, they're breaking out on their own because oh, it's like kung fu panda it's funny. That's and great. there was three sequels, and Hulk Hogan was in the third one. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it was High Noon at uh, high noon at Mega Mountain or something, because it oh took place God. at an amusement yeah. park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your favorite genre. Yes. It's exactly that. <laughs> and then within horror, I would say slasher. Mm. Um, whodunits. <laughs> I do like whodunits. Yeah. Yeah. Like Saw... Um, you don't really know it's a whodunit scream. at first. Yeah, sc- I love the Scream movies. I love the first Friday the 13th because of that. Yep. And a couple of the others because they kind of try and pull that off again. Even uh, fr- uh, Friday the 13th, you said it. Yeah, but yeah, slashers, I would say psychological, like Silence of the Lambs mm-hmm. and shit like that. And probably doll movies because oh, a lot because of them are just funny. You're a twisted freak. Or like horror comedy, I would say more yeah. as a whole. Because usually when it's a horror doll movie, except for like Annabelle, it's, there's usually humor involved. Chucky isn't funny at all. I mean, no, he, he's funny as fuck. But those are my favorite genres. Those are lots of genres. I don't fucking know. Psychological horror I got me into it. I don't even know if I... See, I watched psychological horror, and I never enjoyed the majority of them. <laughs> There's like maybe one. But you keep going back to it, yeah. so... Yeah, and, like, and I think I'm looking, mm-hmm. and I haven't found. That's 90% of what being a horror it's fan a is, is watcher. looking. It's just looking for good movies. <laughs> I mean, this day and age, it goes with anything. Yeah. What do I like? I can't say that I like a genre over another. Maybe it's mm-hmm. a cop-out answer, but the things I enjoy about movies are not genre-confined. Okay. But more so, like, performance and how does it make me feel? Do they portray the emotion they want to feel through filmmaking? Mm-hmm. Those are the movies I enjoy. And okay. So it's hard for me to really pin because I've found my favorite movies in almost every genre. And what are those genres? Um, musical. That's the easy one. Comedy? No. No? I haven't f- seen a good comedy movie ever. <laughs> you always bring up Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre is great. Would I call that a comedy movie? Fuck yeah. I want to call that an adventure. Well, no. That's an adventure movie. It has a, a hero's journey. I like a hero's journey movie. <laughs> I Isn't like, that technically like every movie? There's always the main person is technically the as long as they go through like an arc. If they go through a character arc, then yes. Okay. A lot of uh, these slasher <laughs> You're so films. Broad. I am not abroad. I'm here at home. I never traveled. <laughs> <laughs> Musicals. Um, what did I say? <laughs> what, what did I call this um, one? Hero's Journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no section in the movie store. And Hero's journey. <laughs> I'm opening my own fucking blockbuster. <laughs> and I'm going to have these genres. We've been too constrained on what we know. You know? No. Why can't we have... We can make more genres. Okay. There could be overlap, sure. Well, there's we always can get overlap. Specific. I want the hero's journey. Do you like westerns? No. Yeah, me neither. I don't like. I've the seen setting. a couple that I like, but it's the same. Th- I don't like any sand settings. I don't like any. Do you like, not like Oliver Twist? Because you like musicals, but you don't like that setting because that's like old timey. It was too old timey, and it was. Ooh. I didn't. I don't care about orphans. Like the ones that. But <laughs> those were the best musicals. The Annie. ones that are in like paper boy hats. And like, oh, poor me. I don't... Please, sir, I can I get some scared. More? I feel like they're a devil tricking me. I don't know what it is. I get an aversion to them, and I I don't trust them. Okay. I don't trust a... I think we have to watch Children of the Corn in the near future. See? And I'm probably right. I actually... Yeah. And when they, I actually had Oliver Twist. I have it on, on DVD. VHS. And then I also had Annie. Oliver Twist was in the era of VHS. Yeah. There's no way. Dude, that movie's from like the 80s. Oh, maybe there's a no, newer one. Oh, there's the probably newer one. a newer one. I know the newer one. Um, and it wasn't a musical in the new one. I think it was just a story. I don't know. Maybe you sang on the acoustic guitar. You're thinking August of... August Rush. Yeah. We've been over that. We have. That's not Oliver Twist. Are they both orphans? I don't know, because <laughs> he's going to the concert to play for his parents, isn't he? August or Oliver? August. Oliver doesn't play a guitar. He plays then pickpocket. Who is this father figure that August Rush gets? I think that was the pickpocket leader of the Oliver Twist story. Like, it's kind of an Oliver Twist story. Sorry, I thought I was thinking about August. You are, but I'm saying it is a ripoff of Oliver Twist, oh, I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. In a way. So I'm thinking, like, the, the pack leader of the orphans yeah. or homeless kids. Yeah. I think that was Robin Williams, wasn't it? I've only seen it, like, once. I couldn't actually tell you. Oh, I have no idea. I figured you knew since you keep bringing it up. It's not a musical in my mind, and I all right. So you like musicals? Get scared of orphans. Hero journey. Hero journey and horror. I don't. I I'm, wouldn't put. You have to like it. I wouldn't put it in my top. I three. wouldn't. I wouldn't put yourself through that. I, Just make yourself like it. I can't do that. All right. You have to make one of. Well, I mean, I like a psychological. My friend Edgar Wright. It's a horror comedy. But there is a hero's journey involved, always. Yeah. That's same what I with like Evil about Dead. every single one of his movies. Um, yeah. No, I'm just going to leave it at two. Sorry. You gave me a plural. <laughs> Why am I thinking of three? All right. Well, Fuck she, the rule of thirds. All right. Well, she has one more question. What is it? Damn it. Technically two. Why was Steven so hurtful with his Friday the 13th rating, and does he need a hug? <laughs> I listened back to the episode. Yeah, we... Just little snippets. And so was, what, 2.8, I think it was? 2.9, and I said I felt generous giving it a 2.9. <laughs> I mean, it's just the first one. I don't think he's going to feel that way about the following well, ones. Well, listen, we just did the remake. Mm-hmm, and the I reboob. Think the reboob. It was and I think it did... Juicy, dude. I think it did the story justice. Well, it was very fast-paced. The original yeah. was very... Like someone stalking yeah. people, so it, I think the the first one was too sl- it was too beta. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth for me, mm-hmm. it hadn't had its full release yet. Uh, and he was just so sad it wasn't Jason that he had to give it a bad review. I mean, that's I, not a horrible review. I forgot what movie I was watching halfway through. I forgot what Jason looked like, so I wasn't. I didn't have an expectation. <laughs> It was well, like you were questioning everyone. You well, you've caught the on. Killer, yeah, you right, caught on yeah. that it was that kind of movie. Yeah. Um, which was funny because when I was away, we watched on Friday the 13th, we mm-hmm. watched the first three, me, my mom, my grandma, my uncle, and I had known my mom hadn't seen it in a while. Yeah. So I was hoping that she oh. forgot that it wasn't yeah, Jason yeah. and she did. That was good. Oh, great. Um, cause one thing about those kind of movies is that once you've seen it, that kind of excitement is gone. Cause you already know who the killer is. I think a good movie. I agree. I think a good movie, when you watch it again, will have the hints for the people who already know Mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy the movie through a different lens. Well, that was my biggest problem with it, too, Mm because the reason I was just thinking after I said that I love Scream and that's what they are. But I like rewatching those because there are subtle clues as to who the killer is. There's no subtle clue in the original Friday the 13th. Here's a new person. This random woman who claims that she was the cook, but you haven't seen her yet until the final act. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. So it, it might be a plot hole situation for me. I'm coming this at this through a 2020 lens too, because this is when I started watching movies. I mean, I think you're gonna give um, the the rest of the franchise better than yeah. that anyway. So, and the proof is in the pudding. Jason mm. is a household name. Pudding. Oh, shit. Pudding's some good shit. What's your favorite pudding? Chocolate. Good. P- putting good. these bo- putting these boobies on my face. Putting. You can put your own boobies on your face. Yeah, they stretch. Man, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. I work hard, and I play even harder. I'm gonna say chocolate. Um. And so now you have to answer the question: Why was Steven so hurtful <laughs> with his Friday the 13th? I did say it. And does he? Because it was hug? slower. Oh, and yeah. I think um, that's why you liked the reboot so much because yeah. it was faster because... paced and it was more like the subse- uh, subsequent movies that follow yeah. the first one. And when things go too slow and I don't have um, Temple Run going somewhere on the screen, I start freaking out. Uh, and do I need a hug? Probably. Probably. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe, yeah, maybe he does. All right, moving on. Yeah, dude, I'm already looking at the next question. Are you? Which one do you want? Kevin? Yeah, and, and Jason. Jason. They both ask a question. A couple. Who is your favorite horror movie and Dago Noist? That's the bad guy. That's the bad guy for all you... Um, Listeners. Lord, listeners who didn't get what we said there. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just for you guys. I'll let you go first, because I'm curious. My favorite horror, horror movie, movie antagonist. antagonist. Someone who's smart. I'm trying to think. Who's a smart antagonist we've had? And I don't necessarily mean cunning. Ghostface? Ghostface kind of smart. He's smart in like a Scooby-Doo villain way. Mm-hmm. Jason was pretty smart. I mean, Jason's... I don't, I, uh, he's cunning. I don't think he's smart. In the reboot, he is. I think he's he has instinct. He's well, more the traps, animalistic. He, yeah. He, all the traps and shit he sets up. and I don't think that's smart. He knows how to turn on the floodlights. I think it's cunning. He brought the TV. I agree. Uh, oh, yeah. That was a coffee burp. In case you were wondering. Can I say, uh, can I say Kira from Death Note? <laughs> Is that a horror movie? That's a show. It's a show. It was a movie on Netflix with Willem Dafoe. And did you like that version? I laughed at it. Well. In a way, I did like it. So, okay. Is that so who you're going with? No. I'm going to go f- with Jason. I mean, it's a toss up between Jason and Ghostface for me, but. I- explain your reasoning so that I can get passionate. Oh, fuck. I've always just thought oh, Jason fuck, is dude. badass. No, I don't have a uh, real reason. Okay, so aesthetically? or, or Aesthetically, I like the, the story. Um, he does have, like, um, an arc, not only of... like uh, It's hard to explain, because you haven't seen it. I don't want to give it away. But, like, how he he's alive now... And there's so many different ways to look at it. Like some people already think he's like dead because yeah. he drowned. But at one point he does actually die and is brought back. And then you have like the zombie Jason period. Yeah. So I like that there's an actual yeah. unfolding. A development. A of development the character. Thank you. Yeah. Whereas in Halloween, it's, it's, it's usually very much the same, except for when they tried to do it different in like part four, five, and six. So you like the evolution of the character? I like there Probably to be an the evolving same, story, yeah. Same um, same thing like Ash. Yeah. Someone who uh, upgrades over time. Like, if I, if I when I was a kid or like a teenager, I probably would have went straight with uh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. But he never really had an evolving story. Yeah. It was just Always lived weird in the dream shit world. kind of happening. But the main thing was just him killing people yeah. in their sleep. So you like an evolving character. Yeah. I still love Freddy Krueger. Did There's you play a lot st- of Mega Man? I think I played one and two. Two's the best one. All right. I used to I speed run that game. I, I was not very good at it because no, I played it as a hard. kid. Uh, but yeah, Jason for me and Death Note person. No, f- no okay. Because he's like an anti-hero. It's not even an antagonist. <sighs> well, damn. I'm trying to think of what, if you can remind me of smart killers. We- Ooh. Ooh. The... Alien 
Oh, the xenomorph? Yeah. Okay. You didn't want to go with the slumber party massacre, dude? <laughs> no. <laughs> or the yeah. nail gun? Scroll, actually, scroll through some the of these The nail gun brother? Done. Definitely not nail gun. Uh, oh, Malignant's a pretty cool antagonist. Malignant is kind of neat, but I didn't like that movie. Needful didn't I? Things. I think you liked it. I'm... Evil Dead 2. There wasn't really an antagonist for Talk to Me because we don't really see the ghost, yeah. I guess. Xenomorph is, is, is Xenomorph's a, a good choice. I like that a lot. With that your animalistic right. crap. Yeah, but it's smarter than most humans. It is. It's so developed. Terminator. It follows. Mm. So I hate your, the... your favorite antagonist would be an STD. <laughs> Nightmare Sisters, Shaun of the Dead, Clown, Willy's Wonderland. Clown is fun. The Clown visit. is a fun antagonist. But that's an anti-hero too. Um, oh, yeah. The visit, crazy grandparents. Yeah. All right, you said something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with my right. choice. It's a good choice. I was also thinking uh, Terminator. That is another good choice. Yeah. I was going with full horror or trying yeah. to. Anyway. Kevin and Jason also asked, do you prefer practical or CGI when it comes to the horror genre? You have to do practical. I like a little bit of both. Because sometimes the CGI, you don't even know it is CGI. If you can do it well, yeah. Like, if, if you're doing CG to the point where you don't know it's CG, I think, Mwah, fool me once, same on me, fool me twice, it's fine, it looks good. Mm. <laughs> um, mostly practical with, like, the CGI for, like, touch-ups mm. yeah. in my mind. To but, yeah, definitely... Perfect, yeah practical because even when the practical looks bad it's just more enjoyable you just, than... it, yeah you have to especially like for faces that characters are interacting with yeah well it's kind of like music it, you're always gonna have a better feel when it's like live music yeah. even when it's a recording because it has the human element to it yeah. cgi doesn't really have the human element to it so when it's too Yet. over the top or fake it looks cartoonish yeah. almost um AI but when it's done right it looks great i agree but yeah, practical, especially like Friday the 13th when you have someone like, um, holy crap. Who? Uh, someone like who, Jason? Oh, crap. So, someone like who, oh, Brandon? Oh, no. Brain fart. For Friday the 13th. Everyone yell some, at me. When you have someone like who, Brandon? <laughs> Kevin Bacon? No, now I'm just going to have that in my mind. <laughs> what, Bacon? Mmm, Bacon. No. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, talk about what what? <laughs> Yo, no, tell me what to talk about. Tell me right now. <laughs> Where the fuck are the films? <laughs> Friday Thirteenth, nineteen eighty film. You're looking for an actor or a character name? The guy that did the effects. The guy that did the effects. Oh, okay. Why? Why? Where would it say? How was that? Yeah, I don't know where I would find that here. It's probably on the IMDb. It's... Uh, development. Okay. Tom Savini. Tom. I had Houdini in my head. Oh, no. And I knew that wasn't right. And I was like, I know it rhymes he, with that. He is a magician in a way. He is, though. Yeah. And he's fantastic. And he's even a funny actor. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's done he's like fucking Dawn of the Dead was a great movie he did. It's one of my favorites. This one, Friday the 13th, was one of my favorites. Yeah. Practical all the way. Incredible. Like Terrifier. Those are great yeah. practical effects. You you didn't watch those yet, right? No. Terrifier with the clown. You would remember? I he chops someone down their hoo hoo. You'd remember? I might, cause I remember. I don't know. I don't know. I Probably don't know. not. I'm gonna say House of Thousand Corpses is what you're thinking of. What would be Maybe. your all time must watch horror versus match? Oh, Kevin and Jason. That's a damn good question. Cause we've already got Freddy versus Jason out there. Okay. Two people. Hmm. Hmm. Would be your all time must watch horror versus match. I mean, can, my two favorites just sound cool because that was the first thing I thought of. What Xenomorph and Terminator? That just sounds cool. I think there is something like that. Uh, yeah. He has to fight off aliens at some that point. That would be cool. Um. Michael Myers versus Jason would be interesting because they're both kind of similar characters, but it would really just be like a, a wrestling fight. And there are YouTube videos that have done that pretty yeah. justice. Have you seen, I think it was on Spike TV. Um, it, w it would match up like two different armies from history. And oh, do that's like cool. a simulation about like the one was like the mafia versus the Yakuza. 
I think like I've entire, seen that. And then they did like a, a recreation of it with real actors mm-hmm. of like how it would go down. And then said so they had this percentage of winning after we ran the simulation. I miss shows like that. Oh, man. Or like celebrity boxing. Yeah. Phenomenal. What happened? Um, what happened to America? Hmm. What would another good versus be? I'm trying to think of like the unkillable versus the unkillable. Ooh, uh, Freddy Krueger versus Ash. Oh wow! Mm. Ash would fucking shoot him in the brain in the dream world in the brain world. He could try, or even like a. Uh, it wouldn't be a versus per se, but talk to me mixed with um Freddy Krueger because oh. it's like different realms. Maybe it's the same realm. Mm. It's all in the same universe. Chopping Mall versus Terminator. Chopping Mall versus Nail Gun Massacre. No. <laughs> We're just linking up the random ones that we've done. <laughs> Why would you give that away? <laughs> I mean... I'm just putting ones together that would make sense. That can't be all of our episodes. I mean, didn't... Oh, yeah. Didn't Ash have a chainsaw? He did have a chainsaw. Why not put him up against Texas Chainsaw? Oh, there you go. Texas yeah. Chainsaw. That's sick. Ash. That's sick. The evil Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I want the whole dead. family versus Ash. But the whole family's turned into deadites. Sick. Oh, like they've died already. And they're possessed. And then they get possessed by a whoosh because a Necronomicon gets o- open and around. Yeah, the ne- Necronomicon has been hiding in their basement. Yeah. Oh. Like a group of occult gets a hands on it and is stationed nearby. Wow. And they, yeah. Uh... Or... <laughs> Yeah, Leatherface catches a victim, hooks <gasps> them in the basement. They and get it's free, a cult member. and to they they find some sort of hatch that no one else has found. Even the family that's even deeper oh, under the yeah. basement, and the books there, and she reads it, and shit starts happening. Yeah. And there's a deadite Leatherface. Ooh, that'd be cool. I would like the idea that the person who just found the book is trying to escape, as well as Ash just getting onto the property. Uh, and then there's a yeah, there Ash was, is on a road trip in yeah, his, yeah. you know. That car. Which? Oldsmobile? No, it's not. It's a Chevy. Oh, yeah. Whatever it was. It was a sick car. Yeah. People are not going to be. You just car. yell at us. It's a boat car. It's a nice it drives car. like a boat. It's in every Sam Raimi movie. Love it. And yeah, maybe he's just on like a cross country yeah. road trip <laughs> and he sees Evil Dead at the house because it's in the sky and he's like, yeah. well, shit. I got to take it. Well, maybe he's or, or hunting the, oh. the dead. In this movie. He doesn't usually seem to want to do that, though. This, for whatever he, reason. Okay. This is it. <laughs> All right. He's hunting. He's I actually pursuing. would like that. Evil Dead versus uh, Texas Chainsaw. I think we're going to land on that. Deadite Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, there you go. All right. Flicks and Friends podcast. Are you ready? I hope you are, because here we come. Flicks and what horror movies do you think were before their time? Oh, fuck, we were just talking about Evil Dead, 100%, 100%. Oh, 100% Evil Dead, 100. yeah. 100. Um, what I are mean, some movies where I'm like, any of our 1979 movies, I'm always fucking su- I mean, even with. the first Alien movie was yeah, ahead of its time. Crazy. Um, crazy um, uh, set pieces in Alien. Evil Dead would have to be up there. That's yeah. probably the number one. Um, Terminator? 84? That's about what I expect in 84. The miniatures were cool. Well, it was also a low-budget film. Oh, true. So yeah, yeah. It, just those types of effects. Yeah. Whenever they do tricky fucking stuff with the camera. And I know you haven't seen the second one, but you know that there's like a liquid metal Terminator. Yeah. He actually wanted it in the first one, but he pulled an uh, avatar and was like, I'm not going to put it in yet because ah. we can't really do it. Yeah, yeah. And then he had to come up with the, the way code. to do it. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'd have to say Evil Dead. Carrie it's... even was neat when Carrie come out. Oh, that was like seventy six. Yeah. Carrie, Carrie, I would. Yeah, say. I would put that out there they, too. They had some fun shots in Carrie. Camera shots and yeah. even stuff flying around and the electricity and fire. Yeah, yeah Evil Dead and Carrie. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Second question, same guys. What's your favorite wild animal horror movie? Oh, I thought it was just going to be what's your favorite wild animal. Right now, I would say Cocaine Bear. I love that movie. It's so much fun. I I don't think I avoided Jaws because I thought I would never be interested. Because I thought it was just another gore fest. I love the Jaws movies. And I have no concept of what the actual story is about. 
and still in my mind it's I mean, the first movie is literally, it's just a shark that starts attacking this one area. I hate the idea of watching that. (laughs) It is good, good, though. That boggles me. Well, it's a great white. They're big. (laughs) 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 Well, you got to remember, it came out in the 70s, like 74. I get that. There was no shark network. No one knew what a shark was for the most part, except for they're scary looking. Yeah. And so, yeah, they, they had Will Smith and Shark Tales. But for there's us. a lot of like POV vision from the shark from like underwater. So it's kind of like ahead but of its me time. Viewing that 50 year old movie in the lens I have today. We'll have to see. I, I, I'm a, I'm a boy raised with sharks. I had little action figures that were muscular sharks. Well, and they were, we'll, had like rubbery skin. We'll have to see. Cause we're going to watch it at I'm some point. Fr- it scares me. Um, Good. Yeah. And uh, that's my answer. <laughs> That's my favorite. Your answer is not Jaws? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's my favorite? What other wild animal horror movie? Um, I don't think we've watched any. Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've actually watched an animal movie. Oh, I no. Might we have. might have to watch Jaws. I might have. Oh. What? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's all right. The oh. The village. <laughs> Those weren't animals. There was they were costumes. There was a beast. Listen, it was spoiler. a beast. There was a beast. There was a beast. <laughs> Ooh, uh, the mist. All right. What do we call animals? All right. So Stephen's On answer is earth. not Jaws. <laughs> it's aliens. <laughs> All right. Well, you got my answer. Twi- what? They had wild animals. The wolves? Wild wolves. They're wild, wild wolves? They were wild for Bella. Wild Wild Wolf. What's this? What's this you're doing? It's a parody of Will Smith. Wild Wild West. Oh, wow. We're going straight. You know Will Smith's music? Dude, I was big on Will Smith <laughs> in the 90s. And he was clean. Getting jiggy with it. I know that one. Welcome to Miami. I don't know that Just one. Just the two of us. He did Wild Bill Wild Withers West. Song Just the Two of Us? Oh, yeah. He did a good job, too, from oh, what I remember. I want to hear that. Yeah, I was really into funny music in the oh. 90s. <laughs> Eiffel 65. <laughs> Oh, all that blue, I'm blue. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. like all they did. The, oh, there you go. Pretty sure the CD I had was just five versions oh, of it. Oh, you knew the song. Uh, Check it out now. The Funk's your the brother. Funk's your yeah. brothers. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Funk Soul Brothers. Yeah. I can't remember who that is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um. Yeah. Good shit. Nineties yeah. was a good time. Good time. <laughs> Uh, one more from Flicks and Friends podcast. What horror standalone do you think deserves a sequel? Uh, for me, that would be Trick or Treat, which is going to be the next film we watch, actually. Oh, well, there we go. Um, so you're, you're just showing me movies you want to watch. Well, it's a Halloween movie, and <gasps> we've already watched Halloween. I'm scared. You Halloweeny? Boom. Sorry. What? What was the question again? What standalone deserves movie do you a want a sequel with? I'm trying to look for movies that are standalone that you've watched. I have I already have one. Oh, which no one? No need to look. Uh, Willy's Wonderland. I nice. want the sequel to be in the Five Nights at Freddy universe. And I That'd want them to cool. tie it in with this movie. That would be fun, even though... I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, even though it doesn't matter. I mean, I would just like a Willy's Wonderland sequel. Yeah, truly. Um... Because like Five Nights at Freddy's, there's probably more than one Willy's Wonderland if yeah. it was that popular in the 80s. I want another Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> I mean, we all do. <laughs> and I know on. there are there's lots. There's 15 of them. There's 12. Oh, right, Mr. Count. We need number 13. All right. We need one in the snow, which was supposed to be the sequel. Well, they didn't do it. Too much money. Because they already teased it with the hockey stick. So it's like, oh, so the lake does freeze over. ice, not snow. <laughs> It would be J- Jason on ice. A Jason on ice. Oh, and he's like frozen under the water. I'm going with Trick or Treat. It's a good movie. Trick or Treat's a great movie. And flick, they keep guys. saying there's going to be a sequel, and they, I think they might be making one, but yeah, bring it. Give yeah. it to me. Lay it on me. All uh, right. Antichrist. No. Antichrist 2. Three hours. I don't long. think I'm ever going to watch that movie. <laughs> no, there are sequels, but it's one of those trilogies oh, that, that you the don't mo- know. The movies don't actually like tie together in oh, any way, ter- except I for like that. <laughs> that's so in line with how pretentious the movie is. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. And that director, I can't remember his name. Sorry, Sumi. French guy. 
I can't remember. I'm not going to even try. Yeah. Um, a lot of his movies are like trilogies where they don't. don't they? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cause I think the third one of the trilogy of Antichrist is those, uh, nymphomaniac movies or whatever. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Which I never knew. No. Yeah. Um, oh, here you go. All right. Stu World Order. Stu World Order. <laughs> I like that. What are your five favorite condiments? Five? That's a lot. There's five condiments. I can I can probably think of five. And I I'm gonna stretch the the definition. You of should condiments. stretch. You're getting old. Oh, my legs, my legs. Yeah, clear your throat. I'm thinking of t- like Thai sauce. You, oh yeah. You know the ones with the little red pepper flakes in them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That. All right. I'm gonna go like a green habanero hot sauce. Okay. I love um, mustard, specifically Must- oh. like a honey mustard or a peppercorn mustard. Love, I like love, a, love. Uh, yeah. So um, that's what, three? No, nah, we're at three. Got two more. If you count marinara as a condiment, I think that's too much of a stretch. It's a sauce. Never mind, I retract. Or, wait, sauces are condiments. See, this is where we get dicey. <laughs> this is where we get real dicey. Speaking I'm, of marinara. Yeah. Hey, no, <laughs> tomatillas. <laughs> Green habanero, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the green habanero uh, hot sauce. Okay. Great taste. Um, One more? Or are you not? No, that was still three. No marinara? Well, I don't know. if we... the Marinara is a wild ball, wild card. Okay. It's... I mean, it's used to dip shit a lot now. Right. But then dip. What is dip to condiments? Would I? Because if we're including ditch, spinach and artichoke. Okay, put and, it this right. way. If a condiment is something that goes onto a burger type thing, I would you can get a demolish. Um, um what's the chicken with the cheese and um marinara on it? Uh chicken parmesan? Yeah, there's chicken parmesan yeah. sandwiches. Oh yeah. So it, it's used it's or like even a lot of meat. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it counts. It's been so long since I've had sloppy joe. And just ground up some beef and put it on a sandwich. Is it mixed with something? I don't There's know. There's like a sloppiness to it. Oh. <laughs> we'll find out what it is and do it. I'm going to ask Joe. I, or just make taco here, beef. You start throwing out some while I think. You have one left. I, you don't like ketchup? It, I wouldn't put it in my top five. I would. I use it on a lot of shit. Like me too, I probably I use it, it more than anything. when I order burgers. I think it's there. But marinara I like more. But it's, you wouldn't put that on more shit than ketchup. That's the thing. If I had the option, just if McDonald's had a marinara option, I would. Okay, that choose would taste it. weird with mustard and shit, though. I, would, that would not go good with pickles and. I doubtful. I'd probably like marinara and pickles. I'd put that shit in a salad. Maybe, I don't yeah. Know. Okay. Mm. Yeah, one more. Cream cheese. <laughs> Cream cheese. All right. <laughs> that, I know it's not. You were so excited to do this. I figured you had like ten going. I got I got excited for my first two. <laughs> All right, in no specific order, I like a good mustard. Yeah, uh, ca- I'm gonna put ketchup just because it common. goes on so much. Yeah, um, I don't overly like it. Um, okay, calm down. Would you say ranch? I put that on. I a would lot. never. No, I ranch, would never. Not a ranch or mayo. I don't um, like the whites. <laughs> no, I'm saying is it a condiment? I'm not saying if you like it. Oh, would I put ranch as a condiment? Yeah, yeah. It okay. comes in the squeeze bottle. Okay, so I'd say ranch. <clears throat> oh, terrifying. You don't like ranch? It's yeah. I'm a simple man. I can get sick of ranch. Yeah. No. Um wow. yeah. Uh probably some sort of like um uh what's the the word? Um like a spicy mayo but not too spicy. Oh yeah. Um, uh, yeah. uh there's the red pepper one that that is around. Like a burrito sauce. I like when there's a burrito sauce That's at place. Fine. I like yeah, creamy I sauces and creamy condiments. Yeah. Um, I gotta mm. hear some, dude. I mean, you gotta I hear, hear some. Like I a garlic some mayo. St- a garlic or mayo. Or garlic aioli. There we are. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. Or like tzatziki sauce. Yeah, That's yeah. good. That's good shit. Yeah. That's fun. Mm. That, was, that was five. We'll take that. All right. But I love mustard. Mustard's Like great. sandwiches, yeah, hot yeah, dogs, yeah. hamburgers. It's just so good. Like, I would put barbecue sauce over ketchup. Okay. Like, before I said ketchup, I would say barbecue. Just saying. I I mean, I'm just going by what I use the most. That's and not ke- the question, big boy. <laughs> well, it's obviously my favorite, or else I'd get something else to replace it with. 
I disagree. I think you do things that are easiest for you. Well, that too, but <laughs> if I you did... You probably like a lot of things more, but they also cost money, and you have to go and get them. I don't know. Everything's expensive Two at this bad point. things. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one from Stu World Order. What are the best two decades for horror? I love me some 80s and 90s. You love 80s and 90s whores? Yeah. Whores? Horrors. Horrors. <laughs> Steven probably doesn't know yet. What's your favorite decade of horror? Oh. Or two, for that matter. 80s and 70s so far. That makes sense. 70s yeah. is good, too. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Well, no, I mostly like 80s because of all the slashers, and then I love the 90s because I grew up in the 90s, and all the com- they put more comedy into the horror movies, which I yeah, always enjoy. exactly, yeah. There's um, cheesiness done right. Yeah. Now, it's Stu World Order, what's this last question here? Who is your favorite current actress under 30? Uh, I don't even keep track of that. We've been watching 70s and 80s movies. Current actress under 30. Don't look any up. We have to find out. I mean, the only two I can think of that I know are yeah. under 30 um, would be Millie Bobby Brown uh, and um, Jenna Ortega. From Scream. I mean, I don't know what the redhead's is? name from Stranger Things is. She's under 30. That makes sense. I but think like, the whole I can't cast really, probably is. It's hard to tell. I don't really know Current ages actress for actresses. 30. I would say Millie Bobby Brown just because I love Stranger great. Things. Can I think of another one? This is the the task I'm putting upon myself that I would like because Millie would be my choice if I could, but I can't think of one other. <laughs> Who's acting now? And under Scar- thirty, I just Scarlet can't... Witch. Under thirty, that's no, no. She's a she's a mother. I would say she's just over thirty. That's what I mean. I don't know who's yeah. in their twenties to thirties. I'm who's bad my at... age in acting. Because when you're in your 20s and a good chunk of your 30s, especially if you're an actress... Michael you, Sarah. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Michael Sarah. Um, yeah, that, I would say Millie Bobby Brown and Jenna Ortega would be mine. Is Jenna Ortega the girl from Scream? Girl from Scream, yeah. Wednesday, oh, that's X. That's right. Oh, I like uh, Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Why is that ring? Who's that? Uh, she's the one that should have been Wednesday. She has the exact same vibe she was in... The name rings a bell. Uh, Parks and Rec, I think. She was in Parks and Rec with... Oh, with, she's not... What's his face? She's a little old to be Wednesday. Yeah, she's... she's uh, how old is she? 39. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Why are they getting so old? And even at that, I would say she wasn't that old. I liked. Well, okay, I'm, I'm so these bad are the at actresses age. that I liked that were when they were in their 30s. <laughs> well, yeah, growing up, Marilyn it Monroe. was <laughs> great. Well, did she, she died before she was 32, didn't she? Wasn't right? it the 27 curse oh, for her shit. too? I can't remember. Oh shit! Yeah, Millie Bobby Brown and Jenna Ortega. Yeah. All right, shall we move on? Let's move. I can't even think of anyone else. Night of the Living Brad. I like that. It's a good name. It is. It, it is. is. I, I have to take it in, but it's honestly great. What are some of your guilty pleasure films, horror or other? Wow, mm. was that Brad? Guilty pleasure. Talking through you? I've already mentioned this, clown. That's guilty pleasure? It's like, I'm guilty because the movie's bad. And I watch it because I like it. I don't know. It follows, kind of. It's not phenomenal, but it's a guilty pleasure. A lot pleasure. of people like it. Yeah. Guilty pleasure movie, like those would be movies that are mostly hated. Yeah, go go by that definition because that's how I'm thinking about it. I don't know. What are your hot takes of you? Just, I mean, people didn't like fucking La La Land, and I it's one of my tops. Okay, you know what? Here here's one. Um, I said horror. Oh, sorry. I actually, re- yeah, but a lot of people like it now too. I was gonna say Jason X. Oh. But a lot of people have started to like. That's the thing. A lot of older movies that even if they were shit at one point. Over time, more and more people see it and like it, yeah. so it kind of yeah. becomes oh. not a oh, guilty gosh, pleasure okay. anymore. Plus, I don't really care if what you what yeah, I watch. We don't care what you think. No, no. <laughs> like I don't really because a guilty pleasure is like a movie you wouldn't want to say that you like, right. but I don't really care. Yeah, Oliver Twist. 
because I usually go by because <laughs> I usually go by I don't watch musicals, yeah. right? And then I'm like, oh, I like Annie. See, I would never say La La Land was one of my faves either. I've never seen it. I just like making fun of fun of it because it bugs you a little. It's, I didn't Matilda. I love. I'm a oh, big yeah. fan of Matilda. Matilda's good though. Is I've that got good? that on VHS. <laughs> That's like my uh, Powerful Girls movie. movie. I love. I never saw that. I I went to Blockbuster to get that. and I hid behind the counter. See, a guilty pleasure TV show would be easier because yeah. I could say Boy Meets World, Big Bang Theory. Why would, everyone likes that though? Uh, there's a big group. You can't of people say that, you do. That can't be one of your shows you like. <laughs> I like it. But you can't say. I did. You'll get just, just, I love most sitcoms except for Everyone Loves Raymond. Wow, you actually specifically hate every <laughs> yeah. sorry. Like Friends doesn't do it for me. I love Friends. That's okay. one of my top oh, three. Well, it's probably my mine. number one. Wow. Wow. Sitcom? Yeah. Seinfeld isn't? No. I didn't like Seinfeld until oh. I was in my twenties. Oh sure. I hated it in high school. Oh, okay. Well, I loved it all. Loved but I like Friends, King of Queens, King Still Queens. Standing, wow, these Home are Improvement. Deep sitcoms. Oh man. <laughs> I was raised by a TV. What do you well, want? Like, King and Queens was on in my house too, and Everyone Loves Raymond was always on. I still watch King and Queens. <laughs> oh Jesus! Because it's on right, Pluto TV twenty four seven. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Wait, what was the question? What's your favorite oh, pleasure, guilty pleasure <laughs> films? <laughs> Pretty bunch. We're just saying all of our guilty pleasures. Yeah. Did you say anything? No, uh, you said clown. Lala. What? Clown. Clown. Yeah. Clown. And they also ask, if you could remake any film, what would it be? Clown. <laughs> <laughs> Clown. Um, remake any film. I would want, like, because there's a good story in Clown. Fair enough. There, I found enough it kind of to... lackluster, yeah, but yeah. I think it would it could make a really good film. I love the whole, the evils within the Venom type. Well, that's what, I, yeah, the suit, like. That's long is like the skin of a demon. Like, like that's Evan, fucking cool. It was like Evan Almighty, where he was like trying to shave his head when it didn't work, and he tried to dye it. <laughs> a more um, well-known film. Most of the ones I would want remade are already remade. Tremors. No, you can't remake Tremors. I mean, the first so one good. is so good. It's so like good. even the monster. It's like, like Jaws. The yeah. practical effects look great. Um, considering they did make it into a movie, um, The Dark Tower, which is uh, oh, based yeah. on a Stephen King book, but I don't know if I would want... Oh, you're right. It would be a Stephen King movie. Well, which is good. It would but... either be that or a Shyamalan, but I don't think so. I just don't know if it, you're able to do a good job on that, because the story is just so kind of weird. Well, I the don't know. source material is there. Yeah. <sighs> it's just weird, because there's seven books. The first book's, like, really skinny, and they just, like go they vary in size yeah. so it's like are you just going to do the first book or the first and second together well I we're remaking the, the movie <sighs> this is a hard question because i wouldn't want a remake of the movie i would want a completely new adaptation so oh, that's kind of not even the you're question writing your tyrant hmm. using your power for bad because they've remade most movies too already needful things could be fun to remake oh, that'd be interesting I'd like that a lot, actually. But they even did a good job on that. But I can see but, yeah. making him more of a demon-like character. Mm-hmm. And him being a lot more scary. Before we watched the black and white version of The Mist, mm-hmm. I may have gone with that just because of the CG was a little cartoonish. Oh, yeah, just a little tweak here. I but would... after watching the black and white version, yeah, well, I don't think that needs a remake because yeah. it looks good. So, yeah, I'd, I'd go with Clown just because we keep saying it. And it's... Was there a lackluster Stephen King movie? There's lots. Then one of those. Because uh, I just like the source material. and Well, that's just it. You would want a remake of the book, not the movie that's already remake made. Remake the movie to make... Well, yeah. I guess we could go by reworking mm-hmm. plot lines and mm-hmm. and tightening loose ends. So I think any, any lackluster Stephen King. Because I think the source material is there. Well, they could eat... Yeah, they could do a remake of Children in the Corn. There like, it's go. a good movie, but it's kind of slow... And low budget. Yeah. They could make it a bit more intense. And actually, yeah, the ending is a little cheesy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Fair. I'm going to go with Clown, though, yeah. for the most part. <laughs> Drop Dead Fred. Hey, Fred. How you doing, buddy? Dead. Uh, He's dead. 
Oh, yeah. He's Drop Dead. Drop. Have you seen the movie Drop Dead, Fred? That's a movie? It is a movie I've about an imaginary user. friend. Oh, nothing. Yeah. It's a good movie. Quirky. Of all the found footage movies you've watched. Which is your favorite and least favorite? Hmm. I'm going to say Steven hasn't even seen any found footage movies. So I've seen... Blair Witch? Blair Witch 1 through 3. Oh, look at you. I've seen... The Visit. Oh, I'm going to... Okay. For my favorite, I might have to go with Creep. I thought you were going to say Cloverfield. You freaked me out. I liked Cloverfield, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's no. very shaky. Yeah. Um... Dash cam is a cool looking movie. <laughs> cool That's looking all through movie. Dash cam. Probably. Oh man. Um <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy Creep. Even the, like the premise. Um I mean Blair Witch was great too. Yeah. Were the the sequel the sequels weren't found footage though. The no. second one was part found footage, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? I can't remember. And, it, and you know, I think it ended the same way. With a camera dropping. Uh, I would say Blair Witch one for my favorite. Uh, yeah, for my least favorite. For my least favorite, I already know. Oh fuck, what's it called? It's the one that takes place all through Skype. Oh, with the kidnapped girl or whatever? No. Or no? It's a bunch of friends that get in a Skype call and a random oh. guy joins. Mm. What are you owing at? No, isn't there a part where like they're being pulled away from the screen or some shit? Yes, I think so. Someone puts their hand in a blender, I think. Mm. Bad. I, I I remember what the you're talking ne- about. No, that's not the social network. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. What's your least favorite? My least favorite. I would go with the visit because I fair. don't think honestly that's so fair. A lot of it was um like very fakely done. Yeah, it seems like some of them like there wouldn't have been a camera all the time. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember that aspect of the movie not really needing yeah. to be there. Because it never really um, came down. To, like, it never had anything to do with the end plot. No. Yeah, it was just a, a moat. Um, like, they didn't need to be making a movie to show their mom who those people were. Yeah. They could have just had their laptop. Yeah, and, and turned it around. Yeah. So I would say that one. Or I remember liking Cloverfield, but that one is very shaky, I is remember, it? at times. Yeah. Let me look up the movie I'm thinking of. I remember. I don't remember which VHS movie it was, but I remember one of those not being a big fan of. Unfriended. Oh, right. I never saw that. I thought it looked good. I watched it as a joke with one of my friends in Discord, and we both hated it. As a joke? How do you watch a movie as a joke? We watched, like, The Room. Oh, you just wanted to watch bad movies? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Creep the, was the good. The Death Note uh, Netflix adaptation. All mm. bad movies. All right, that was a great question. I yeah, like it. I hey, like thanks. it. Thanks. All right, Dewey Pod Monster, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, he's a monster. Yeah, he's scary. Favorite schlock movie? That's disgusting. We can't talk about this. Damn. We can't talk about schlocking. I'm pretty sure that just means low budget. Is that right? I think so. Schlock. I'm pretty pot. Here, we can don't look hit it up. the images tab. But that's all I'm saying. Well, it's not an it's not a visual <laughs> podcast. They're not gonna see. Oh. Dude, but I'll be, I will never be able to forget. Schlock meaning. Oh, it says schlock movie I saw. It's Yiddish, apparently. Uh, cheap or inferior goods or materials. Yeah, so low budget. Ooh, schlock. I might have to go... Well, the obvious answer is Evil Dead. Yeah, insane. And the membrane. Um, The original Halloween. That was low budget. I really liked Psycho Gore, man. I might have to go yeah, with Psycho you, Gore, liked man. liked it. I wasn't... I was, uh... Yeah, you're crazy. Evil. You didn't grow up with Power uh, Rangers. And... I did. I just never hung out with them. Well, <laughs> it was weird because you got all the references in the movie, too. Yeah, Like of the course. D&D characters and the names and shit. Yeah, you can't pull a wool over my eyes. My favorite schlockin movie. Um, Schlock, lock, and barrel. I mean, fucking hell. Evil Dead's just that good of a movie. It's that, true. That it wins like multiple Oscars for all my answers. I keep giving it the award for best because uh, it's everything I want. It fucked up the genre, man. Yeah. It's everything Crazy. I want. It's it's always when this young director comes on the scene and, and just does everything with nothing. <laughs> 
And Everything that, with nothing. You know that. You know what I meant by that. He does an outstanding job with no money. Yeah. And just through the through camera tricks and smarts. Well, that's what you got to know how to do. You got to know how to work with what you got. Improv, yes, and he's got to be on there. Yeah. Now you're just looking at the horror comedy movie schlock. Yeah. And what was the budget of this movie? What was? <laughs> <laughs> Scroll down. Sixty thousand. Okay, we're good. <laughs> In seventy three, though, that's oh, could well, that be good that's though? That's small. That's what a house cost. What is this about? The mighty prehistoric ape has emerged from hiding after 20 million years to embark on a full-scale rampage across a quiet Southern California suburb, leaving the police baffled and the army powerless. Why? Wow. Is that his name? Schlock? Mr. Schlock. Okay. Go to images. Oh, no. Oh, oh he's no. a gorilla. Yeah, that's low budget for sure. Yeah. Oh, phenomenal. Yeah, that's... And it's getting a Blu-ray release. Ooh, a Butterfinger. Now we're talking. I like Butterfinger. Oh, he's eating popcorn. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Arrow video. Looking at us wow. in the theater. We're the... He looks better in the on the cover than he does in, in the, the movie. Yeah, that's just... It's like you a can very, see the neckline. Yeah, there's like a hoodie <laughs> in his costume. We're looking at a gorilla costume, guys. Yeah, it's good shit. We might have to watch this. We might have to watch Schlock. Uh-oh. Way to go. Thanks for the suggestion, dude. Way to go, Dewey Pod Monster. <laughs> All right. What is uh, dissect that horror? Is that how you spell dissect with two s's? It's how they spell it, Stephen. Well, I would maybe it means it dis because they want to dis. Yeah, yeah. It's actually dissect that film. Oh, there we go. But they're they're doing Halloweeny names. Uh, I'm scared and I'm shaking and I'm shivering. Well, well, calm the fuck down. Thank you. You center me always. I try. What is your favorite practical effect in a horror movie? Oh. That's now, a tough I've one. seen a lot of these. I like it when Bruce Campbell gets thrown into a shelf. That's right, everyone. Evil Dead takes it again. <laughs> That's not really effect, though. That's just slapstick That's hard comedy. Work. That's hard work. It's got to be like a blood effect. Or... I like it when Moe and Curly do that. Nya, 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 that and those aren't their effects. To they're me... actually doing that. Oh, shit. They're just that good. All right, effects. Um... Practical. Okay, none of this bullshit. I want. I want to know. I. I don't know if it is practical. I think it is. Say it. But I'm gonna bring up the um, Jason X movie again. Oh Jesus! Because there's one scene where he freezes someone's head with uh nit uh yeah the ice uh, liquid mist, nitrogen liquid nitrogen and then smacks their head on the table and, and it, it shatters explodes, and it shatters. Oh, that's and I'm pretty be sure it's a dummy. Oh, yeah. What year did this come out? 2001? Oh, yeah, then that was practical, baby. Let's see if I'm right. If I'm right, I'm going to shit myself. Wow. I was right. That it was this movie? That it was 2001. Oh, wow. I'm usually not good with dates. Wow. This was a very important year. Yeah, that's got to be practical. There might be some CG, but like, uh In 2001, they wouldn't be able to get away with it, dude. Yeah, because it looks pretty good. Because that would be a crazy particle Because that's a doll. Yeah. So I'm sure he could have just smashed the face of yeah. the doll. Yeah. They mm, did this. That might be CGI. No, dude, they wouldn't do it. I mean, if it's not that, I love the arrow through the neck in Friday the 13th, mm. Kevin Bacon. That's really yeah. well done. Because I just love how you see the hand come up. And that was one of the first times, if not the first time, where they did like the body sitting underneath the dummy type thing. Yeah. That or no, I might have to go with the revolving room in Nightmare on Elm Street. So there's a part where Johnny Depp's character gets pulled into his bed in his nightmare yeah. and a geyser of blood just starts oh, cool. coming out and it is actually filmed and the room I think was upside down so it was just pouring out. Yeah. And then there's another scene where any room scenes in that movie because there's another one where the girl's crawling up the walls and freddie's like dragging her yeah and the room's actually rotating oh, cool. on an actual yeah thing a mechanical thing or yeah. whatever so i might have to go with those those two actually yeah, cool because just the rigs they had to build to achieve it is like mind-boggling okay what's your favorite he, practical effect steven he did say specifically in a horror movie that's what i was looking for and now i have to think well, I mean, you could do a horror movie and a non-horror movie. It's harder to tell non-horror movie what practical effects are. I know, right? 
because CGI, if it's done well now, it's... I'm usually impressed with really good puppeteering, and I'm trying to think of a horror movie, if any, that we've watched have puppeteering. Evil Dead 2, when she's doing the dance in the moonlight. Oh, oh, yeah. That was all stop motion. That was... His dead girlfriend or whatever. She's rolling her head around her shoulders. She's headless. That reminded me of the skeleton animation that was rotoscoped. And he was... <laughs> in Evil Dead? No, in an older cartoon. There's this little skeleton who's oh, I was going to say, I don't think we watched Army it, of Darkness it yet. It might have referenced that. This old cartoon, that might have been a callback. I don't mm, know. Maybe. I don't know. Um... Practical effects. Well, that's not a practical effect if it's stop motion, mister. That has yeah, to mean in so camera. Because it's still a real thing. It's a puppet that someone's moving. It's not a computer animated It's stop thing. motion. But that it's... means there's cuts. It's not done in camera. Okay. That's at least how I would take I okay. understand what you mean. That, But uh, I guess that would be a okay. non-practical effect it, before CGI times. Okay. Is like camera Interesting. tricks. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, trimmers. That's a good one. That's a good one. Tremors. That puppeteering blew me the fuck away when he bursted through the wall in the gun room. That was pretty crazy. That whole sequence was well, great. Well, even when it burst through the wall, the cement wall. Yeah. That's what I... Yeah. It burst, yeah. It comes through a couple of, walls. Yeah. Or even at the end when it shoots out the side yeah, of the mountain. Oh, so good. And the fucking... Oh, yeah. The guts in that look great. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The pumpkin guts. Yeah. You could say that's a Halloween movie just because of the pumpkin gut blood. It's true. It is. Pumpkin spice. Ooh, pumpkin spice ice cap. I wish I had one of those. Justin. Justin Green. Justin Green. Favorite horror icons. I think we kind of went over this already. I know exactly what Justin's saying. Like, iconic. Like, icons. G- like, good job. Like, most fashionable. Is how Guys, I'm give, this. give a round of applause for Steven. Is he, that well, sorry? Is um, what are we doing here? <laughs> well, why'd you just explain what an icon is? No, like fashion. You'd miss the fashion part. You rolled your eyes because you didn't listen to me. <laughs> You're now being well. Shocked. If it's a fashionable thing, I'm going with Pinhead. One hundred percent. He's an icon. I've said it before. I remember saying iconic when characters appear on screen when we we're watching movies, and I can't remember whose outfit I was talking about. Oh, me neither. I, I might have to go with the Jason again. He's pretty iconic. Yeah, that's an iconic thing. That fit. hockey mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to go. Good oh, to go. Some of the last girls had some iconic I love me fits. some Chucky, too. Ooh, Chucky's my man. Gale and Scream 6. Gale Weathers, very nice. Loved the fit there. Power suit, big shoulders. Well, if we're going with final girl icons, mm. I would go with, like, the Scream movies. Who's the most fashionable character in a horror oh, movie? Oh, fashionable. We're still doing of. the fashionable thing. That's what icon means. No, it's not. Why do you think I say iconic when a good oh fit God. walks on screen? Well, I already said my horror icons. Okay. Fashionable. Who's the most I said fashionable? Pinhead. Okay. So fashionable. Okay. Right? I mean, this Freddy Krueger's pretty good looking too. He's got a nice fashion sense. That's true. Right? Green and he purple. Rocks, he rocks. Green and purple. I don't know. I think a Joker. Green and red. <laughs> I'm thinking a Joker. <laughs> Joker is a horrifying guy. I think he's an icon. He can be very horrifying. He yeah. cut his own face off. I, mean, I guess Joker isn't a horror movie. What is that genre called? There is a name for it. And I don't know it Thriller? right now. No. No. Uh, That's a hero's journey. Sure. It says drama crime. Drama crime. Wow. I'm sorry, Brian Callen is in this movie? Yes. I don't what? remember who he plays. I think he's one of his workers, like the people he works with. I can't remember. That's a, that's that's the most shocking thing I've heard today. So, yeah, those those were my icons. Yeah. That's... Who do you like? I like got the big guys, Michael Myers, I Jason Scream. I never thought Scream. for them to be iconic. I have uh, well, those are, they're iconic because they're Ooh, the big uh, pinhead, big cheese, and all his friends. They are iconic. They are iconic. Once you see them, you can't unsee them. Yeah. You can't unsee that shit. It's crazy. And um, Tusk, Tusk, the walrus from Tusk. 
He is the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. cuckoo. All right, that is a lot of questions that we have answered, Stephen. And Guys, we, it's enough. We did it. We're enough. stopping here. Calm down. Keep the rest of your questions to yourself. Until our next 50th episode. Until our next 50th anniversary. It may come in 50 hours. It may come in 50 weeks. You'll never know. Maybe we'll do this again shorter than that. Maybe we'll do this again shorter than that, guys. <laughs> I mean, so 50 sooner. hours is pretty soon. Sooner than that. <laughs> Fuck off. Sooner than 100 episodes, whatever. If, if you guys liked this format, guys, if it was funny. if you can stand it, if you can handle the heat in the kitchen that we're cooking up for you here tonight. We're cooking. We're sweating. It's crazy. I am sweating. Why is that? Because you're gross. Are you sweating as well? Or is it just no. me? I'm it's quite a, nice in here. I'm wearing a hoodie. It's quite nice. So hefty. So hefty. <laughs> All right. That has been our Q&A for our 50th episode. Tune in for more episodes after this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. I don't. I was making. I don't face word right. I was trying to be a scary guy. Um. Yeah, we'll be doing trick or treat. We got to go see some movies. Okay, I keep getting confused when you mention the name of this movie. I think <laughs> that you're saying we were going to go trick or treating. No, and like we're this watching is a, a movie. You have for the podcast trick or treat. Where we're recording a podcast while we trick or treat. No, you're saying you don't have this plan. I don't have a costume. Do we have to have a costume to go trick or treating? Yeah. Well, they're not we're watching Trick or Treat, and we're gonna go see. That's a scary baby. That is a scary baby. That looks like um, Caillou. It's Sam. Wow. That looks like Caillou. <laughs> it's a big head. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna see that. We're gonna see Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Yeah, we are. All five nights of them. And then at some point, I think we're gonna do Saw because I want Steven to watch Saw. You want me to see Saw? Yeah, see Saw with you. Yeah. We're going to seesaw together. And I think we should do the uh, Texas Chainsaw remake. If you say so. I signed the blood contract and I will die. Well, we have been neglecting the box, but we already have a couple movies. <laughs> You're starting to sound like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> you wish. Rhonda. Who's that? It's Rhonda Rousey. Oh. Shout out to you. All right. So that she is it. kids. Guys, follow us on Twitter and even in the Instagrams if it's you want true. to see our pictures that we post on there. Our beautiful faces for the world to see. All of you to see and laugh. And smack those stars on Spotify. Smack them with, with, with your elbow. That should pick up. <laughs> Great. I don't know. Okay. I smacked myself in the face three times. I saw that. For I everyone. I don't understand why. Because I need them to smack the stars. Oh, guys. Just like how Spotify. I smack my face, smack those stars. Show them some love. Um, Did that confuse you? And remember. <laughs> <laughs> always drink water when you do a fucking podcast, always apparently. Always drink water when you're doing a podcast. Thank you so much for all the questions. And thank you, listeners, also for all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one last question for you. What yeah. franchise that we've already started are you most excited to continue? Evil Dead. There's like one more left that you have to see, so that doesn't count. Man, I'm excited for it. Um, Halloween, Scream, Friday no, the 13th, no, Hellraiser. No, no. We haven't started Chucky yet. No, not even excited for that one. Not Jaws. Let's see what we've seen. Candyman, Alien. No, Alien, maybe. Terminator. Eh, uh, Terminator House of a Thousand maybe. Corpses has two sequels. Reanimator. Not really. All right, well, you said, so <laughs> you said something. He's not excited for anything we're doing. <sighs> Texas Chainsaw. They're not catching me immediately. Where is Texas Chainsaw? Oh, there it is. Right there. Slumber Party Massacre. No. You're not excited for any of it. No, they're not catching me. <laughs> wow. That's a good answer. Thank you. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to take... I think we're going to take off. We're going to take a poo together. No. Oh. I thought you said for our 50th anniversary. What? Okay. And make sure to always help. remember to help those who are in... We already said to remember to drink the water. 
Drink the water. Drink the water and help those in need around you. <laughs> yeah. Splash them a little. Splash. <laughs> splish, splash. I, I was, was taking, taking a bath. bath. It's all about a Saturday night. <laughs> Who takes a bath on Saturday? That's a Sunday on thing. On Saturday night, no less. That's a loser. I'd want to be gaming, dude. Right? Me too. All right. Peace. Peace, guys. We're gaming.